Cannes have been a staple in fall arrangements for decades, and Cannes has got a new spin on that classic decor. Ken, I knew I was gonna be here with you working on these, and I did not really visualize how amazing <laughs> this is. I didn't get it at first. I love The this. words didn't make, didn't make sense. I was sense. reading it, and I knew I was coming in. I was like, well, Ken's gonna make it awesome. Well, you know, I love pumpkins, I love gourds, and I love succulents, and I really wanted to find a way to do, to do two things. One, to create sort of some beautiful centerpieces for around our house, but also I wanted to find some simple gifts that I could make with the kids to help all the frontline workers, the teachers, all the people that during this whole time in our community have been sort of really there for us, making our lives function Beautiful. so I wanted to do something that was a sort of a living gift to sort of to sort of give to them and this is this is what I came up and with. you've done just that and a beautiful one for sure now let's start with sort of the base if you will the All pumpkins right. themselves who we go on with kind of craft we got some real guys right here yeah so okay I want to explain to everyone at home I went through a couple of options with this you could dig out your pumpkin and plant them but if you do that it's only gonna last about a week week and a half depending upon the temperature and all that true which seems like a lot of work for a week and a half you could use our artificial but then artificial to me just doesn't seem as sort of genuine in this so this last weekend we went to our local farmers market our local farmer pumpkin patch he's up in Ukiah he's a great guy he plants them every year midsummer oh. I see him start planting it then everyone from the town goes and we got wag we got three wagons full of pumpkins and gourds and you could see the look on his face like you could tell he was happy that the it's been rough for him too the community coming together to support him so this is a great opportunity go out support your local farmers support your community and get some real live pumpkins. You got to make one of these and then go back and give them one that you've there already you made go. into this. That's what Brilliant. you're going to do. That's the first gift you're going to do. Okay, so this starts with obviously the base we right. talked about. And now we're going to start with some moss as right. in a sense the foundation. Exactly. The, the right? key to not going in is getting some of this. This is sphagnum moss and you see it when you see planted or orchids and all that an actual act as the rooting min, um, medium. All you're going to do take okay. some spray glue gotcha. and just right on the front Wherever you want that moss in your plants, give it a Beautiful. good coating. Get this moss, and you want the long, not peat moss, not peat moss with sphagnum in it. You want actual sphagnum moss. Gotcha. Sort of push it on down there. You can do a second coat if you'd like. I feel like I could use a little bit more over here. Yeah, do a little second coat. Yeah, you want to get it nice and deep because this is what the roots are going to hold onto and okay. grow with. And you want to make sure it's not, and if that's the case, yeah, you want to make sure that it's on there exactly. pretty well too. Okay, so now uh, comes the next yeah. step. That worked really well, by the way. Mine is really, is do another, on there. Do another layer of glue and another, oh, well, you're I, out I of, you're out of moss. Here you go. Moss. You toss it Boom. Over. There we go. So for okay, your good. succulents, you want to prep your succulents and what you want to do Get them, if you're buying new ones, get them out of their little um, pot yep. and basically break off all the dirt. You just want to have your stem and maybe a few roots. That's all you need right there. Um, it's a great time to thin the ones if you already have them at home. And then all we're going to do, I've got some, some regular white glue. I'm using tacky glue. You okay. Dip your base in that. And that doesn't affect the... Um you know, the health of the succulents? It does not affect, the succulents will actually um, take root within that and continue to grow and thrive um, within that. And you just keep doing it and sort of create your own pattern. Now, I wanna say, if you get something like, let's say this guy, if you have a little guy that's a little, or this guy here, he's falling over. So what yeah. you can do with a big guy is take a little floral pen or um, landscape fabric pen I have right here. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is put that right behind and I'm just gonna pin him right into my gourd. That helps. And that will hold him right in the place. So when we're looking for these succulents, really just anything with small root system, something that you think will kind of fit into the moss, that's the idea? Exactly, but you do want them to be a, a technically a succulent. You can't use other small plants because what will happen is that they will not um, root well in the sphagnum. Now, if you're having issues with certain things saying, what you can do is actually use hot glue, a little hot glue right okay. around the base. It's not gonna hurt the plant at Beautiful. all. And pop that right in there. And you just sort of keep going and building. This is really beautiful, right. buddy. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess the way to water these would be just using a little spray bottle um, spraying them down. Obviously, you're not going to be pouring water over top of this. Exactly. Spray um, on top, and this will last you if you do that, moisten it just like once a week, not even that. Um, this is going to last you a couple of months. The the pumpkin is going to give out before the um, I was before the ask. succulents do. That's right, because the, the you know obviously the pumpkin is going to get soft and start to. Uh, kind of go on you a little bit. Now, and at will that you be point, able to you reuse the succulents? Pull out the succulents. You'll find that a lot of them have taken root within that, and you can replant them somewhere else. Oh there you go. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Ken, 
Oh, wow. I wasn't even looking. Cameron. Well, can you? I am impressed. I don't mess around. Look how good that looks. <laughs> it looks better on that angle than it does even in front of me. Sometimes I amaze myself, everybody, and I know I amaze Ken Who are you going to give it to? Who in your community? I am going to give this to, that's a great question, to um, some of the teachers that have been working so hard for Lucas and Layla. Uh, they've been doing amazing, but thank you. I'm going to make some more. I better start making them. <laughs> I'll use yours. Uh, everybody, full instructions. Visit HallmarkChannel.com and connect with Ken on his social media page as well.